Welcome to the installation video of Hoi Miles LV5DG to series. This video consists of five chapters. Preparation, Product Overview, Installation Operation, Electrical Connection, and Monitoring Registration. You can refer to the user manual if you need more information. Before installation, ensure that the battery pack is turned off and any associated circuit breakers and disconnect switches are turned off. And all installations must be performed in accordance with local electrical standards and the National Electrical Code. Now, let's take a look at what you need to prepare before installation. The following tools and materials are recommended in the installation process. Personal protective equipment should be worn when operating the equipment. Then please check whether the low voltage battery accessories are complete. Before we start, let's take a look at the ports on this low voltage battery so for better understanding the installation process. The wiring port of the battery right cover, from the top to the bottom. The power switch. The battery positive and negative terminals. Two communication ports. Dip switch. Reset bottom. Another battery, positive and negative terminals. PE port is at the bottom of the right cover. Both the left and right cover have one handle. This video will show both wall mounting and floor standing battery installation. Let's do the floor installation firstly. Engineers have to install four feet for the balance. Place a soft cloth on the ground, hold the handles to slowly lift the battery, and lay it on the soft cloth. Then install the four feet and tighten them. Select a load-bearing wall firstly, place the positioning map on the wall. Engineers can mark all the holes position on the wall according to the layout map. Then use a hammer drill. Drill the holes with a diameter of 8mm and a depth of 65mm on the wall according to the previous hole position of the wall. Hammer the sleeves into the holes according to the quantities you need. Place the battery on a level ground, parallel to the wall. Keep a distance of at least 20 millimeters. Hold the handles to lift the battery B and place it on the battery A, aiming at four limit holes. Remind to fix the battery packs after stacking work. Use M5 screws to fix the bracket on the top left and top right of the battery. Use M8 expansion screws to fix the bracket A on the wall. Hereby, the floor installation have been completed. Next we show the wall mounting installation, as the same to the floor steps above. According to the actual installation, place the positioning paper against the wall, mark hole position, drill holes, and hammer the sleeves into the holes. Place the bracket L on the bottom two holes. Use M8 expansion screws to install the left bracket L. The method of the right bracket R is the same as that of bracket L. Hold the handles to lift the battery and place it on the bracket L and R well. Remind to fix the batteries at last. Take out M5 and M8 screws. Fix the battery on the wall though bracket A. Take out M5 screws. Fix the battery on the bracket L and R. Hereby, the wall mounting installation have been completed. Now, let's come to the electrical connection. Before connecting the power cables, the following cable preparation process is required. Prepare power cables, 
communication cables and ground cables of appropriate lengths based on the distance between the battery and the inverter. Use a wire stripper to remove the insulation from one ends of the cable, exposing an appropriate length of conductor. Use a hydraulic crimper to crimp terminals or use battery connectors, positive and negative, as needed for connections. Let's show the electrical connection for floor installation. Firstly, you should pre-install the ground cable. Use the M5 screw to secure the connection and the other end to a suitable grounding point. Connect one end of the negative cable to the negative terminal of the upper battery and connect one end of the positive cable to the positive terminal of the lower battery. Then, connect the other ends of the power cables to the corresponding terminals of the HIT. Wrap two battery cables around the magnetic ring once, and then pass them through the magnetic ring. Connect the red positive and black negative wires to the bat positive and bat negative terminals on the HIT, respectively, and secure the cables using the bolts. Connect the positive and negative cables of each battery in parallel. For three or more batteries, use a busper to connect the positive and negative terminals of all batteries in parallel, and then connect to the HIT. Use the provided standard Ethernet communication cables to connect the communication ports of each battery in parallel and link them to the communication port of the HIT inverter. Unscrew the cable gland and waterproof structure counterclockwise and remove the rubber plug from the waterproof structure. Pass the cable through the cable gland and waterproof structure Then route it through the communication one port and insert the ERJ45 connector into the corresponding terminal. Finally, tighten the cable gland. Next we show the electrical connection for wall mounting installation. Repeat the wall mounted installation steps to connect the ground cable. Connect one end of the negative cable to the negative terminal of the battery and one end of the positive cable to the positive terminal of the battery, and then connect the parallel power cables to the corresponding terminals of the HIT. Use the provided standard Ethernet communication cable to connect one end to the battery's communication port and the other end to the HIT inverter's communication port. Finally, we power on the system. Turn on the circuit breaker between the battery and the HIT. Turn on the power switch of the battery. If the HIT inverter is powered only by the battery, press the power button on the master battery for one second. At this point, LB5DG2 installation process is fully completed. Open the installer app on your smartphone and log in. Then click on O and M at the bottom of the page and tap on Toolkit. The app will automatically scan for the Bluetooth of nearby devices. On the Bluetooth part, tap the DTS to be connected. On the device pairing page, enter the PIN code and then tap Confirm. Next is the commissioning process. Click on the commissioning module in the overview page to begin. Click on the battery module to enter battery settings. Set the user's battery type, 
brand and capacity, then click Save to return. Click on the Meter module, check the meter's location, and click Save to return. Click on the EV Charger module. Users can add an electric vehicle charger by clicking Auto Search or scanning the QR code on the label to identify the serial number. Click Save to return. After completing the above steps, click Next to proceed with additional settings. Click the drop-down arrow to select the grid profile for your region, then click Next. Click the interactive arrow under Operating Mode to select the operating mode of inverter. Then click Next. Depending on whether the generator port is connected to an inverter or generator, select the appropriate option and click Next to enter the self-check module. Users can choose to complete the self-check or skip it as needed. To perform the self-check, click the Start Test button. Before proceeding, ensure all cables are correctly connected, switches are turned on, and configurations are accurate. To skip this step, click Next, then click Confirm to proceed to the network configuration. Follow the prompts to configure the network, or skip this step if desired. If using DTS WLG3 Wi-Fi mode, and network configuration is required. Click the Wi-Fi option, select your router's Wi-Fi, enter the password, and click Finish. Once the network connection is successful, click Finish to finish the network setup. To skip this step, tap Skip Network Configuration. If using DTS WLG3 LAN mode, click Finish to finish the network setup. At this point, the S-Miles Cloud configuration process is fully completed. That's all about this video. Thanks for watching.